Yo, what's up guys in this video i'm gonna be showing you guys how to create a local host server for your 5m community or your future 5 5m community so all the links that are gonna be shown are in the description below first of all we want to grab the server that the server uh, cfx server data master which before we do all that we're gonna want to go to a c drive a main drive right click create a new folder called um just copy this remember the caps need to be the exact same okay so make it that go inside the folder install or download zip the cfx server data master you want to open that and then you want to go back to your your folder that you just made and just drag the folder itself and we wait a minute wait a second and then and then that's it um Maybe these these links are gonna be in the dis description. Next, we want to go to uh, uh, the uh, this link, and then we want to install that. We're gonna want to open that as well. Want to have that open? Probably wait a second. So on folder. Okay. Now we just do the exact same thing. We just go inside here. We just control control A, -A, -A, -A and just drag it. We wait a little bit, uh, and then next we're gonna go inside the server that that the server dash yeah <laughs> this folder I, I can't say it because I'm blind server and then we want to create a server dot config which kind of like kind of like uh, change properties and stuff about the server and like like what script should be running and what shouldn't be. We want to go to the the next link in the description which is this it's basically the documentation to uh, uh, creating a server so everything should be working but let's start with him so it just shows the documentation um, let's go down you just want to copy and paste this into your server.cfg and then next you will get um, in the save.cfg at the bottom you might have noticed um, it says uh, change me down here for your license key you just want to go to the link uh, the key master link sign sign in and just follow the prompt and you just want to click register and just follow what it tells you to do and then grab the key copy it and then go down to go back to your save dog cfg go to the license license key you want to paste that save and that's it you don't need you need to mess around with the save that cfg then now you go back to the fx like the main folder itself you want to create a new text document called a study.bat it starts this the server and the contents here so you want to right click it and open it as a notepad now we're gonna want to uh what's it called I need to find the example because I really forget how to write this. Okay, here we go. Um, uh, we just want to see, just copy what I'm doing. But if you're using a different drive, it's kind of self-explanatory. Just, just, just switch the letters to whatever drive you're using. Although if it's words, I really don't know what to do about that. Like if it's like a name drive, I don't know. But Zone Master C. Exact Make sure to have the exact server that CFJ the server is not gonna work. Now if you load up the start dot bad, it's gonna start the server server of course and there's no problem, so I'm gonna skip to when the server is loading. Also, if you guys didn't know, um once my 5M loads, okay, you wanna go to your um you want to go to your settings up here and you want to uh you want to go to interface and just enable dev mode you connect you can connect to your local host so now we are down downloading and we are connecting to the server itself so of course it's going to be super basic there's going to be no scripts but i i, I plan to create a separate um tutorial on how to put in kai scripts framework etc if you guys want to see videos like that um like it i guess i don't know <laughs> but now once this loads let's see i can already tell all that that, that the server is working because this is just what the base server is 
will get get it, it will get changed but if you go inside the server that's cfg as well you can customize let's say um if script hooks allowed which you can um script hook is basically like a framework for trainers and stuff and menus so if it's enabled pe people can use menus on, 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 on the server but if there's no script hook they, they, they can't so you can change like the host name you can change the logos you can change uh let's see um i think tags yeah tags and stuff so you can change a bunch of those those stuff so now awaiting scripts it should load in once we're doing something else. yeah there we go we are in everything seems to be working yep doing punch yep hey right, guys um so that's the end of the video hope that was simple to follow if it wasn't i'm super sorry i try to just speed speed through and just get straight to the point but that's it for the video i'm gonna be posting some more maybe tonight maybe tomorrow hey guys peace out